Hello and welcome to One More Pen. Today it's not just me, I have my feline companion Cosmo. Um, my, uh, I'm just trying to keep him off the laptop keyboard but it's okay for now, he settled down so I think, I think we'll be okay. I'll move so that you can, you can see him as well. Um, I know that he also has a bit of a following. So welcome. What I want to do today is talk about the Lamy Safari. I've done a review on the Safari before, but a lot has happened since I bought my first Safari a couple of years ago. I think the Safari is actually the first um, pen that I reviewed on this channel. And my views have changed a little bit, so I think it's worth revisiting um, that. But then also what I want to do is I want to talk about the Safari, the Vista, the All Star and the LX because I now have one of each. So I am now in a position to do a proper comparison. And I, I recently got hold of an LX. Um, I'm not going to tell you the whole story now, um, but there, there's some things to talk about. There are definitely some things about that being to talk about. Um, some things that I'm quite excited about. It's my daily. Uh, my daily pen for a while now and I, th I think I'll be, I'll be it'll stay at the top of my list for a while I'm, I'm really enjoying it a lot but it's a lot to talk about so I won't do everything in one video I think what I'll do is I'll chop it up into three parts part one I will do today I'll talk about the Safari and the Vista mainly the Vista because I've done the Safari before but I'll be comparing the Vista to the Safari and then in a next part I will be comparing the All Star um, to the Safari and the Vista and then I'll compare the LX um, to the AL, to the All Star. Um, so that's the plan. I have the Vista right here by the way. A um, lot of nice things about this pen. I mean essentially this is the same as the Safari, right? I mean this is a Safari that's transparent, it's a demo model. But still, um, still there's something to talk about. Uh, you know the differences may be um, really just that it's just that this one is transparent but i do feel it makes quite a big difference so we'll take a closer look at the pen i'll do a writing sample i'll talk a little bit about the nibs that i have and that i'm using as well and um that'll be it for today and then the next part i'll be doing the all-star and then the alex right so let's head over there and we'll take a closer look at this pen all right let's have a closer look at the Lomi vista now I do have a Safari here. This is the Safari that I bought a couple of years ago and I was originally not very impressed with this pen and uh, uh, at the time I didn't know much about how these pens work and I just really had a crappy nib. I didn't know it at the time and so I didn't use this pen for quite a while but then at some point I got some new nibs, swapped it around and um, really changed the way that I've been feeling about and using these pens. So this is the this is the Safari as as you know it. And then we have the Vista. Now what is the difference between the Safari and the Vista? Well simply the Vista is transparent. It is a demonstrator version of the Safari essentially and that is about it. No other distinct difference that I can tell. Finial is the same, top and bottom. It is just transparent on the Vista. Now, although that is the only difference between the two pens, I do feel that the, the you know, the um, demonstrator version it has something going for it because it's transparent and I don't know what that is but it's just something about the spin that really appeals to me and I guess that will really just be a matter of preference. On the Safari we also have Lomi embossed on the barrel over there and on the Vista it's a shiny um, yeah just just shiny over there says Lomi. Nothing else much. The clip is the same. It's the usual paper clip. clip. It's a snap cap, um, as you would know by now. It's really nice to have a transparent section. 
um, so you can see the ink in there and especially if you're using an ink that's um, maybe something that you really enjoy it's it's nice to be able to see it so the one thing in the Safari you have the window in the barrel so that you can see the level of ink in the converter or in the cartridge so you know I don't know why you need it on the Vista because you can see the ink in any way you know because the barrel is transparent so I do feel like this was really it's really a cheap way to um, to do this because it's not I mean the Vista has its own name it is the Lamy Vista it's not a Lamy Safari demonstrator model or a Lamy Safari you know transparent or whatever it's the Lamy Vista it has its own name distinct from the Safari so if you give it its own name you know then just blindly copying the safari i feel this is a bit of that's a really cheap way to do it um and it's a missed opportunity because this could have just been sealed and potentially this pen could have been an eyedropper pen um with i don't know if the i don't know if it's sealed at the bottom no it's not i just blew on there quickly so it's not sealed at the end of the barrel but you could seal the end of the barrel close up the window and you would have an enormous ink capacity in this pen it would it would really change um, the way that people would use this pen and it would change the way you look at this pen so I think it's a really missed opportunity by Lamy and that's a pity but you know be that as it as it may it's still a very nice pen um, in the in the cap we have the section where the um, where the nib seals and that's a, re a really shiny part of the cap and I do think it looks quite good and it's nice that you can see the converter and in this case I've mine has a red um, you know port on the on the converter and, and I think it's just really nice so on this particular pen I have a broad nib and uh, that's a very nice nib to write with I only have the one broad nib I actually prefer the 1.1 stub nibs on these pen I had a 1.1 stub on this one for quite a while but um, I replaced it with the with a broad nib so I'm gonna ink it up and what I'm gonna be using is Diamine Saladon cap um, it's an ink I really love and I haven't used it that much because I do find that it can be a bit um, I don't know you really need to find the right pen and the right paper for this ink um, it doesn't work well in just any pen and with any nib and on any paper I find that you, you um, it's an ink that is not very saturated you'll, you'll see in a moment and I think I think you need a paper that is not too smooth uh, if you have a really smooth nib on really smooth paper then it doesn't work really well I don't know if you've had an experience like that you can uh, always let me know in the comments so let's ink this up And this is a Lamy converter. It's one of the few ones. I, I've got quite a few that came with Zhenha pens and other pens, and they're, they're all very nice. But this one has the um, those two little studs that really fit perfectly into the pen like that. That's really nice. So it's not going anywhere if you twist it. All right. So let's ink this up. do a second time to get some ink a lot of ink in the section there and let me just wipe it down get rid of any excess ink there here we go the one thing 
I have noticed with the safaris is the 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 cap seals pretty well but it's a it's almost like it could have had a little bit more you know of a seal there but it's fine nothing wrong with it and this is the Lamy Vista with a broad nib And the ink that I'm using Whoops, Diamine Celadon Cat Very interesting ink um, I really like this but uh, I feel like you do need a broader nib with this ink to you know fully appreciate it let's do some more well let's just do to see the wetness on this pen is pretty good and that is i think partly because i'm using a broad nib here Right, so this pen really keeps up with the writing. Um, it's certainly wet enough and the broad nib helps with that. The ink really goes well with this pen, I think. Especially when you use an, an ink that you really like. Um, like in this case, the Celadon Cat, which I think is a very unique um, ink. I, I really think it works very well with the pen. On the section, um, you can see the section is really fold right now. It's just because it's probably because I just fold the pen. Usually, you can see a little bit more about what's going on inside, but this is pretty good as well. I'm not always crazy about the facets on the section. I feel like the edges are a little sharp, but it's it's fine. It doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I think I'm just getting used to it. And as you can see there, the, uh, the ink window, really redundant because you, you really don't need it. So I feel like that could have been closed up. Other than that, I think this is a pretty nice pen. It is a safari, like any other safari. Except if you like a demonstrator pen, then this is just better than a safari. That's just the way that it is. So if you have one of these, let me know what your experience is like, what you enjoy about these pens. And uh, yes, I'd love to hear from you. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next part, the next video, where I'm taking a closer look at the Lamy All-Star. Right. Keep well, everyone. See you next time.